Today I'm going to be talking about my 0-3 months essential products for Isabella. I've done a video on my newborn essentials when James was a baby and some of the products are the same but I find that one, I know better now and I know more so I used products that were more efficient and two, the things that I needed for having two children are different to the things that I needed for having one child. So I thought I would share with you the full list, even the products that have repeated from previous time and hopefully it will be helpful. Let's start with sleeping and the first thing that I've found a complete essential this time around is a dimmable night light. I got it from Amazon and this light is great because you can change it from a warm light to a cool light depending on what you prefer. I usually prefer to leave it on the cool setting. It's also rechargeable so you can take it with you if you're going away on holiday, if you're going camping and you don't have a plug. So you can charge it fully then unplug it and it lasts for ages. I charge it once fully for about, I don't know, seven hours and it will last me for over a month of using every single night and I usually leave it on all night long because I just want to be able to see quickly if Isabella's asleep, if she's awake, if she's stirring. It's also great because it has a little carry handle as well in case you want to put it in your toddler's room. The next product is a place for baby to sleep. In our case with Isabella, the place that she's enjoyed sleeping the most is either on our sofa or on our bed, which is really unfortunate because this time around we invested in a sleepy head and a snooze pod. The sleepy head is like a little bed nest where the baby gets cocooned inside and they feel really cozy and comfy and the snooze pod is a bedside crib that the sides undo so that you can be close to your baby and to be completely honest with you those purchases have not been an essential but I think that is kind of like a, a, a preference rather than a reflection on the product she just likes sleeping on her front. She also likes cluster feeding and feeding to sleep and I can't feed her to sleep in the snooze pod. Although it's really close to the bed, almost attached to the bed, I just can't feed her to sleep and every time I attempt to move her from the bed to the snooze pod, she wakes up. But for the purpose of recommending something for your baby to sleep in, I would highly recommend a snooze pod and a Moses basket. We use our Moses basket downstairs in the early days when she was a tiny little newborn baby she used to sleep in her Moses basket but now she doesn't anymore and what we use it for is a safe place so if we need to put her down somewhere safely we put her in the Moses basket downstairs next is a bouncer or a rocker again it's a safe place for your baby to be put down and it can also be a little bit of entertainment when they start looking around a bit more and when they get more interested in things of the world and the one that we have is from mother care and we have also borrowed one from a friend so we've got two one upstairs one downstairs she's not always content in it it's not like a magic place where you can put your child and your child won't cry or won't fuss but most of the times I can put her down for about five minutes or so five minutes at a time and she'll be fine other times I'm really lucky that she'll stay for like half an hour completely on her own entertained whilst I just potter about next essential are blankets for Isabella she was born in the winter so we had loads of thick cozy blankets but we also had some very thin lightweight blankets that we could uh, layer on top of her and sometimes the house is warm and she doesn't really need a really thick blanket so we had mostly thicker blankets but then we had a handful of very thin blankets as well and the last essential for us in terms of sleeping is a baby monitor and more specifically a video baby monitor I am a very anxious parent and I like to keep an eye on my children at all times to know what they're doing, to know what they're up to and predict whether or not they're going to be awakened in the next 5 or 10 minutes. We still have a baby monitor on James even though he's two. Um, we keep an eye on him. Yes, we do. My favourite one is from BT and it's called the BT Light Show. I think 7500 is the number of the model. I think Samsung and Motorola are doing the best ones at the moment, the most complete video monitors and I'm going to leave links to both of them below because I'm thinking of buying one of them myself just so that I can have one monitor with both children. Now for feeding, first I'm going to tell you my essentials for breastfeeding and then for bottle feeding. So for breastfeeding my first essential is the Lancino Lanolin Nipple 
nipple cream because it helped heal my my nipples quickly when they got cracked and sore. I went through two or three tubes of that in the first three months. The second essential is something that you're gonna have knocking around the house and it's just a medium sized cushion. One not too big or not too small, but just enough for you to lie your baby on top of you and prop your baby up um, enough to reach your breast if you're breastfeeding. I couldn't quite hold her with my arm and have her at the right height to reach my breast so I needed a cushion to prop her up a little bit. But if you want something a bit more dedicated you can also use a pregnancy or nursing pillow. The one that I had is called the Widgie Plus and I got it from Asda and it saw me through two pregnancies and two breastfeeding babies. It is amazing, it goes all the way around my waist and around my back so it supports my back and it supports the baby at the front. The only uh, problem I have with it is that it doesn't kind of tie around the back so you have to lean against it to keep it together um, but I, I think there are some out there that do that so there are different models and different types that you can you can consider. Breast pads and nursing bras are absolute lifesavers. Breast pads obviously because your milk will leak and you don't want it to ruin your clothes and you don't want to have patches of milk around your breasts and I just get simple disposable ones from local supermarkets or from boots. You will use a lot of them. Nursing bras they are great because they're so convenient they're not the most flattering on the breast. I recommend ones from Emma Jane which I got in ASOS and from H&M. They're both very comfortable and they don't break the bank they're cheap and cheerful now for bottle feeding essentials a sterilizer is a must and a sterilizer is good even if you're breastfeeding because you have to sterilize dummies and maybe some breastfeeding uh, breast pumping equipment and the one that I have is from Tommy Tippy for sterilizing when you're out and about I recommend the Munchkin sterilizing bags they take up to two bottles with teats and all the accessories and you just have to put it in the microwave for three minutes with two ounces of water you're gonna need bottles and teats and whatever brand your baby takes is the right brand I don't think there is one brand better than the other we've just got on with Tommy Tippy bottles with James and Isabella they both like them so we carried on with these bottles but any brands will do one thing that I find really handy is the milk powder dispensers I have individual ones from Tommy Tippy which are very small and you can carry it in your changing bag you can put the number of scoops that your baby takes in a bottle and then you can take that with you and prepare a feed on the go also a few brands do uh, multi compartmentalized containers where you can carry more than one feed and I recently got one from Boots where you have the three separate compartments and you can take it up to three feeds out and about with you. It's also good if you have someone in the house looking after your child like a grandparent or a nanny or a childminder and they don't necessarily have to faff about worrying about whether or not they got the right number of scoops. And talking about preparing and making up feeds, the Tommy Tippy Perfect Prep Machine has been an absolute lifesaver for us. It's not cheap but it's on offer all the time so it's worth having a look around it saves up so much time and hassle so with with Isabella we had it from day one and we're still using ours all you have to do is change the filters every three months and make sure that you prepare it according the instructions so that you know you don't do anything wrong but I do have a video demonstration of how the Tommy Tippy perfect prep machine machine works and I'll leave the video link below in case you want to watch or if you're thinking of buying one and my last essentials are ready to feed bottles of formula I usually take cartons of milk out they are sterilized they are ready to go in a sterile bottle and feed the baby and I usually take one upstairs every night with me because although I still breastfeed sometimes when Isabella is fussing and I don't know what's wrong with her I try to offer her the breast and then a bottle and in the hope that something will help and it saves me having to go downstairs and make up a bottle for her I just take one ready to feed bottle upstairs one sterilized bottle and that's me sorted and another thing that I found really useful from zero to three months was the ready to feed bottles that come with the teats and you buy them I think they're called starter set it comes in a box with six of them and you have the ster sterilized teats and the bottle of milk it's a tiny little bottle it's the ones that they give to you in hospital to feed your baby if you're formula feeding at the hospital and it's more suitable for when your baby is not drinking loads because otherwise you're going to go through loads of those tiny little bottles when your baby starts to drink more 
formula. Now for changing and bathing. My first essential are baby wipes and the ones that I like the most, the ones that I've used the most and that I completely trust 100% are water wipes. Although they are probably the most expensive wipes out of the whole bunch, they're probably the most natural because they are 99.9% .9 water and 0.1% fruit extract, that is the extent of the ingredients in the wipes. So they are basically just water in a wipe. I also like other brands of wipes like Huggies and Johnson's, but water wipes have been a very firm favorite of ours. With wipes come nappies and nappy bags. We have used Pampers, Tesco, Aldi, Asda. But the best thing about newborn nappies is that they have a little line at the front which is yellow if the baby is dry and it goes blue if baby is wet or dirty and it kind of helps you to see at a glance whether or not you need to change your baby's nappy. <laughs> Isabella is desperately trying to join in on this video. You're a little winky. Nappy creams were more of an essential to me when I had James because it was something that I got into the habit of doing every single nappy change. But with Isabella, I just haven't got into the habit of doing it. My favorites are Sudocreme, Vipanthan, and my all-time favorite for clearing up a bad rash is Metanium. They have the yellow version and the white version. The yellow one is for when baby has got a really bad rash and the white version is for preventing rashes. Sudocreme is generally good for lots of other things as well like burns and scratches and other things because it's an antiseptic healing cream. A changing mat is also an essential because you always have a clean surface to change your baby, a place where you know that only your baby has touched and it also protects your floor or your bedding from getting covered in wee and poo explosions. They're usually padded and they're usually plastic cover so you can wipe it clean. You can get them dirt cheap on supermarkets, mother care, boots, they're about two three pounds and they are really handy. Muslings are amazing for feeding, for changing, for sleeping and they're probably the best thing that you can ask someone to give to you if they want to give you a present. Ask them to buy you a pack of muslin. We're competing are we? For chatterbox. You like mummy, you like chatting. Yeah, so muslins, you can never have too many muslins. My favorite ones are from Primark of all places. They wash really well. They don't crinkle and crease when they're dried in the dryer. Another essential is cotton wool pads because obviously if you don't want to use um, wet wipes, you can use cotton wool pads and water. And cotton wool pads are not the most convenient thing to change nappy, but they're definitely the absolutely most safest thing. Now for bathing, we have an Angel Care bath support, which has been a total lifesaver especially with having two under two because I need to have both my hands free to deal with both children in the bathroom. A bath support might sound like not an essential but I just find that the Angel Care bath support gives her more support and it gives me a little bit more control over what I'm doing with her, how much more I can fill up the bath so that she can share a bath with James if I am brave enough to put the two of them together. For baby clothing, for the first three months the only essentials that I would say are are sleep suits and body suits because they are the most practical things for your baby to wear comfortable they're easy to put on and off they keep them warm they keep them cool depending on the weather you can buy long sleeve bodysuits short sleeve sleeveless I usually get mine from next from Tesco from boots or from Asda now for miscellaneous things I only have a few to go so my first miscellaneous essential is something that I wish Isabella took a fancy to and it is a dummy it's something that replaces the breast as a comforter not as a source of feeding but when baby just wants to feed for comfort and you've been doing it for hours and hours and hours on end and you just want a break, sometimes a dummy comes to the rescue and saves a little bit of time for you. But unfortunately Isabella doesn't take one, which is a shame, but I will keep trying. I'll try a few more dummies before I give up on it. Next is an ear thermometer. They're quite expensive, but they're definitely worth the money because you don't want to be faffing about with putting thermometer under the, the arm and waiting for ages. You just want a quick read not bothering them you can do it whilst they're sleeping and it doesn't bother them too much the next thing is a nasal spray and I find the best ones are the ones with a high sort of powered spray because the drops they're so sparse that you tend not to get it far back to help them sneeze it out in the first few months your baby's no nose can get quite congested they lie on their backs a lot so that means that they get really congested so you've got to help them by putting some saline drops 
in their nostril. Alternatively, if you can't find those and you just have the drops, you can just get a little one milliliter syringe and you can get those from medicine. You just load it up with the nasal drops and squirt it up their nostril and it sounds scary and I was very very wary of doing it but my sister who's a pediatrician showed me exactly how to do it and over time I've become more and more confident and now I can do it very very easily and my last newborn essential is a baby carrier either a wrap a sling a normal baby carrier whatever you feel comfortable I have a wrap and a baby carrier my wrap is from we made me and my baby carrier is from ergo and I like both of them they are definitely 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 helpful especially if you have older children that you need to look after they're close to you they'll be comforted they might even go to sleep and some women might even be able to breastfeed in the carrier I can't do that but I know some women who do so that is it these are my essentials for a newborn not to three months baby second time round plus the ones that I found useful first time round I hope the video was helpful I think I managed to get the information across and don't forget all the links are in the description below if you want to check out any of the products that I mentioned if you're not subscribed already make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my future videos and give this video a like if you enjoyed it I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video bye